thousands of people are expected to flock to a small church in the English countryside tomorrow to celebrate the christening of Princess Charlotte. It will be a private service with family and friends, but they will come and greet the public afterwards. Princess Charlotte was born in May to Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge. Their son, Prince George, was born in 2013, and he was christened at a chapel in central London. Well, joining us now is royal expert Mandy Littlefield. She's with us from Boston, Massachusetts. Thanks for joining us, Mandy. This is not perhaps quite a, as big a deal, say, as, as Charlotte's birth, but can you tell us what this ceremony will mean to the British royal family? It's going to be quite important. It's always nice to have another baby in the family, continuing on the, the new generation. I think that people are actually quite thrilled to be able to be a part of the christening. They'll be able to see the royal family enter and exit the church. They've included an area for the public to come view, which is actually quite different from what happened with Prince George's christening. The public uh, was not allowed access to that, but now we see that there's a little more openness and uh, an interest for the public to come and share in the day. And tell us about the location where Charlotte will be christened. She's going to be christened uh, in a church, a St. Mary Magdalene Church on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. And this is also where William's mother, Princess Diana, had been christened when she was a child as well. So it's William keeping Diana close to an important family event. And we know uh, George had seven godparents uh, when he was christened. Do you have any idea? Does anybody know about godparents for Charlotte? We're not 100% sure. There is talk of, of various friends uh, of William and Kate's. We really won't know officially until just ahead of the ceremony tomorrow. And uh, unfortunately, we won't be seeing Prince Harry, uh, Uncle Harry, who will be in Africa at this time. Who do we know that will be there? Who are you looking to, to, to see? We are going to see the Queen and her husband, Prince Philip, will be there. Also, the Prince of Wales, the Duchess of Cornwall, as well as Kate's parents, Michael and Carol, and her siblings, Pippa and James. And do you know anything about the, the gown she might wear? Might she wear what Prince George wore, that elaborate outfit for his christening? She will. This was actually, um, like you said, George wore this for his own christening. It's a reproduction of one that was created for Queen Victoria's eldest daughter, also named Victoria, the Princess Royal, in 1841. George had to wear a replica because by that time, of course, the garment had become so delicate with age that it could not be worn any longer. But George wore that replica and now his sister will do the same. And what do you expect uh, after the christening? Uh, we know they cherish their private time. Are you expecting them to then retreat uh, for the summer? I believe so. I think they're going to take the time uh, at their home, their country estate in Norfolk and Mahal, to just have quiet family time and enjoy their, their little happy family unit. What has the public's reaction been to, to the birth, the arrival of Princess Charlotte and now her christening? I think the public has been very excited. It's been a long time since a, a princess has been born in the royal family. I believe the last princess was a Princess Eugenie, who is the younger daughter of the Duke of York mm -hmm. in the, in the mid-90s. And of course now Charlotte is uh, the heir to, the, the, the spare to the heir, Prince George, George growing up knowing that he has the future of kingship on his shoulders, he will have a younger sister to have as a best friend. And much like Prince William grew up with Prince Harry, we're going to mm -hmm. see a, a very tight royal duo, I think. Well, I'm sure everybody's looking forward to seeing them tomorrow. Mandy Littlefield, an expert on all things royal, and you can follow Mandy at mandysroyalty.org. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.